is a tone deaf monk. Welcome back uh, to my channel. Uh, or if you're new, uh, congratulations, you found me. Today I'm uh, bringing you something close to my heart. Venture Electronics. Uh, and why? Because it moved me. Um, this product and this brand should get more recognition. This is, uh, I'm going to talk about the Galvatron audio source. Uh, this has uh, been longly awaited for the VE followers. The Megatron was, is very well known in the no circles uh, for an exceptional $50 amp that you should uh, buy when you're buying your earbuds. Now, a while ago I tried some... Uh, Venture Electronics Vanguard 300 ohm headphones and that's what I was waiting to get uh, those back uh, to listen to this um, and I'm glad I did and that's what's taken me a long long time for this review so inside of the box this is the box by the way in the packaging uh, you do get a couple interesting stuff uh, one is a bunch of impedance adapters right there uh, 25 ohm 50 ohm 75 ohm single-ended by the way all of them um, and yeah <laughs> which is if you're thinking okay 75 ohm into single-ended impedance adapter and you want to make it harder to drive why would you do that um, pretty good and i'll get to that in this review inside of the box uh something they did talk about um that i couldn't still wrap my head around the case usage was this really supposedly incredibly high quality microphone if you can figure out a case usage then you're, you're then you're, you're going to use this thing more than what i would use it for so let's talk about uh the, the design of this thing. First of all, it's pretty light, very light. Uh, it just happens to be almost exactly the same size as, um, hold on, that's a bad comparison. There we go. My Hibby R6 Pro 2 2025. Um, and it makes a good case usage of why you would do just that. This is a DAP, it has power. This is a source as well. Um, so and I'm gonna get to why you would do that. Wh why you would, why do you need this product? Now, I will say one thing though. Um, let's go about what the layout and I'll explain some quirky stuff as well. So on the front is your gold plated plastic volume control knob. Um, three and a half single ended 4.4 balanced output and a microphone input which also includes this little adapter so again one side goes to the microphone one goes to your headset okay let you wrap your head around that one and then there's a gain switch high to low and there's also a little blue led that's it on the front I'm very cautious about that gain switch. Um, yeah, it almost took me out. Uh, it really honestly scared the living shit out of me. Um, and I'll tell you that story. On the back, uh, there is a charge button. You can just see why you do... This has no battery. So you do need to put a power source to it, whether it be a... Uh, battery pack or a USB-C charger. Um, there is another port that says data. I think I just plugged it into the wrong one anyway, but it didn't matter. Uh, there is a 3.5 single-ended output and a 4.4 balanced output. I don't get it. doesn't make any sense at all to me, but again, there might be something there ah i guess you could use it as a line out to drive your powered speakers if you're using this as a desktop set there you go why didn't i think of that i didn't test that um 
Hmm, I just think I have another one sitting in front of me that I use that for. Yeah. Hmm. Um, the other thing is it has two inputs, USB-C and SPDIF input as well. So a digital input. And I did try it with that as well. Uh, did I hear a sound between the difference? Uh, no, I did not. Why do I like this thing so much? Well, f first of all, why am I so enamored with it? Well, it, it's 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 a it's a whack job. Um, it has. Oh, here's this. Well, where's my notes? Uh, yeah, we'll check this out. This is my entire notes for this uh, review. Um, specs, powerful. Features, a bunch of them, but some I can't figure out. Uh, I just did figure out the, the, the line out. That actually does make sense. Um, now that I think about it. Why do I have these dots on top too? Um, that is an excellent question. I'm glad you asked. Because this thing gets uh, toasty warm. Especially as you load it down. Uh, so when I had this, the Hibby strapped to this thing, it was getting quite warm. And uh, heat kills electronics. I know that uh, for working in the electronics industry for 30 years, it's a killer. So, unless you're designed it that way, like in a pure class high amplifier, which is what I asked Lee. I said, Lee, what the hell's in here? Um, is this like some pure class A, incredibly 10 watt, per channel powerful amplifier and he kind of laughed at me and he said no man i'm we're just using a bunch of high quality chinese parts full legit credit for that right um why it's 198 dollars and took like two years to come out from a crowdsourcing uh project um they made something special uh, and especially, and you cannot help overlook the $200 price point. That's my, one of my biggest takeaways. My introduction to Venture Electronics goes back a year where, uh, King Nubian, uh, otherwise known as uh, Bennett Kelly or Silicone Sounds, you should check out his YouTube channel. Um, he is one of our Canucks and, uh, he put me onto their earbuds. He said, here, I'm going to send you some earbuds. Uh, see what you think. And I put them in my ears and I finally got them to fit. Your bids are not my, really, not my thing. Um, and I said, man, these are pretty damn good. He said, they're five bucks. I said, shut the front door. And this time I'm, you know, I'm, I'm reviewing high-end gear all the time. And I said, for five bucks, that's pretty, pretty, pretty crazy, pretty insane. He said, yeah, that's what these guys are known for. And uh, it, it, doing my reviews, the Megatron has come up tons of time so when you're in the know people who know about that product for 50 bucks and when they have bundles with their um, earbuds like the Asuna 3.0 um, they go together and they just sound magical together 150 ohm imagine you putting this on this I did it, it doesn't go 150 ohm product or the 300 ohm Vanguard headphones they that DAP, a lot of products don't have enough juice to drive it. Uh, my other one is my my Can N3 Ultra. I really, again, I've always had a love hate relationship with that DAP. One of the things I hate about it is it's only 600 milliwatts and it runs out of power all the time. You get to 70 percent of its output volume on high gain, and it loses headroom and and it starts to break up this noticeably audibly break up the sound of the drivers so not my favorite and so when it runs out of juice what do you do well you put another amp on it now in this case which is uh, kind of interesting is everything has to run through this ess DAC that happens to be in here because i asked what it was um and it's an older es DAC, um and i think that was a brilliant move um, two reasons. One, you can probably buy it cheaper than buying the absolute latest, greatest ESS 9069 Q2M, right? So, and it sounds great. 
The Galvatron, unlike the Megatron, if you have this and you know its sound signature, it has a little bit warmer mid-range. Uh, nice full-bodied bottom end and really clean top end. The Galvatron is slammy fast control base. It has so much current and juice to control the, the drivers that uh, that's the way it comes over. It just has f f full control all the time at any volume. Um, I was listening to the Stardust on this, the Unique Melody Stardust, talking about power. I'm off on a tangent. I don't care. Um, that was my entire note, so I'm freewheeling this. So um, I put the Stardust on it. I have it on low gain, and I might have had a few libations, and I accidentally hit the high gain switch, and oh my shit, I had it, well, I had it being, I, I play it loud. I may have had it at, I don't think I could have gotten to half volume, but um, when I hit the high gain, it turbo drive, I damn near shit myself, my ears were probably ringing for a while, uh, and I fully realized at this point uh, with this amp that A, do not touch that button, and B, the, the, the shit mojo gears that are inside of this thing, it, it is crazy. That's it, um, really. When you put, <laughs> I'm having fun with this one. When you put uh, the three and a five, input single-ended input with an impedance adapter wow here's an interesting thing first of all don't do that with hybrid ims as you load up the impedance i think i can throw up a graph here of one i just recently measured and noticed that as soon as you do that um, it changes the the sonic signature immensely so um on single dynamics or headphones, I find that it doesn't change it. So that's that's one thing about impedance and impedance adapters. So when I was listening to the Stardust on it like that, 4.4 balanced input, really, really like the sound of, and the stage is fantastic on this. Quite wide, very 3D. It can do spatial placement, stereo separation, all those fancy reviewer words. It makes the gear you're listening to sound like um, it's not there and you're just listening to the music, right? So that's one. Um, next up is um, what happened to the sound when I did that? Put it on single-ended, start loading it up with some impedance adapters. Um, and what I find is this amplifier really, really likes being whipped, driven hard. It's funny it didn't come with a leather case because I think I'd like it. Um, and a ball gag. Anyway, um, that really came into play with the Vanguard headphones. At 300 ohms, I did a review on this thing. I'm totally smitten with those headphones at 100 bucks. I think it's pretty smashing. Uh, it just checks off all my boxes for what I like for music. And I've listened to way more expensive headphones, but there's just something... Well, they're, first of all, they're super light and comfy for me, so it doesn't make my ears sweat. Lots of things. I really like that set. I like the way it sounds, and I just like the, the weighted feel of it. So pretty awesome. And that baller-ass cable that comes with it that puts multi-thousand-dollar headphones to absolute shame uh, comes included with that $100 headphone. I will tell you right now, as I'm going on to the shill portion of this review, that uh, this is $200, just under $200. Headphones are 100 bucks. You buy them together, I think it's $230. Absolutely insane deal. Do yourself a favor. That's how it sounds. Um, and I will say one more thing. With these 
Vanguard headphones, Galvatron together. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, they were like, okay, let's make this a little bit warm and smooth sounding. Let's just put some huge juice to these things. Lots of current, lots of drive, lots of control, and see how the two go together. And the yin and the yang, the, you know, they just pair so incredibly well together, complementing each other. This and its nature and its sound signature bringing out the absolute best, making a $100 headphone sound like a very, very good sounding $100 headphone. So here's that cable, by the way. It's pretty crazy. In 4.4 for a reason, because, well, it's 300 ohms, and uh, VE wants you to send tons of shit, tons of juice to this thing. How, what's the specs on this thing? That's an excellent question. All I can tell you is that it is insanely powerful. It loves to be loaded up. It gets hot as hell when you're driving it hard. Um, and it's a fantastic bargain, especially with that combination. So end of shill session. Who's this thing for? Well, people who uh, want a really nice source um, and have some cool features like charging up uh, when you're putting power to this and you send output to uh, your DAP or whatever else, your phone. Uh, don't use an OTG cable, use one that will pass power through because when you put power to uh, the Galvatron, it powers, it sends 12 volt, or sorry, uh, five volt uh, output to your source, powering it up at the same time. This is endless energy, des mini desktop stack, fantastic uh, combination. Why would you do that? What's the case usage for this, this DAC amp? Well, I mean, to drive stuff uh, very, very well, very cleanly, uh, with lots of current and dynamic um, sound. I mean, uh, clean, uncolored, tons of power, like winner, 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 all the way across the board. So thank you for watching. I don't know why this thing should get a ton more play. Maybe there's not a lot of units out there because the people who did crowdsource and wait for two years for their unit which I'm sure they're very happy with the output and the outcome uh, of this project. So congrats VE on making another, in my opinion, just value for money, blockbuster, honestly. Good job. Mm -hmm.